Hello, my name is Ben Morgan, and welcome to this tutorial series in which I will teach you guys how to model a human head. And this model will be based off of reference images that we will uh, be provided. Uh, you can look in the description for the reference images. And we're going to be focusing a lot on keeping the model as simple as possible and also getting good edge flow. So here is what our completed model might look like. And you can see here that we have some nice edge loops in key areas. And these edge loops are what will allow us to animate our face and to easily texture it. And it will make everything along the line much easier. OK, so let's get started. So. Let me just start a whole new file and start my screencast keys. OK, so what we're going to have to first do is load up our reference images. And those reference images are going to be in the description of this video. So go ahead and download them below. OK, so now once you download them, we're going to split our view by uh, clicking and dragging on this little thing up top. Click and drag that. Um, press T over the 3D viewports to get rid of the, our, our toolbar, which we don't really need. And press N on both of these. And let's just clean up our view a little bit. We don't need our camera or our light, so let's right click each of them and press Shift to select both. And press M2 to move them to a whole different layer. Next, we're gonna go to display on the, on the panel over here. And uncheck grid floor and I guess X, Y, and Z is fine. But the grid floor will just get in our way for the modeling of this. Okay, that's good. Next, we're going to go to background images. We're going to enable background images. We're going to add an image. And we're going to open up our reference image. It is going to be the front one for this. So uh, this is the lower quality. Uh, let's see, it's the fixed one. So I lined these up in Photoshop. And next, we're going to go in the right panel. Uh, click background images, add image, open, and let's find our right side reference. So it should be, there we go. So the reason I had to do this, I had to lower the quality on these was because they were originally very high quality pictures that uh, was making Blender lag. So I actually had to go uh, into my photo editing program and uh, lower the quality of these several times um, into something that my computer and possibly yours, your computer could handle. Uh, if you're still having problems with these images, you can load them into something like Photoshop and uh, lower their quality. Uh, I will also include some higher resolution images with, with uh, this final uh, in the description. And those images will uh, possibly, if you want them, you can use them to texture your character in the end. All right, so let's first start by lining up these images. So although I already lined them up myself in uh, Photoshop, they might still need to be lined up a little bit. So let's move this cube. Make, let's make it so that the top on the right side is on the corner of his eye. And you can see here that in the in the top also, or in the front view, it is also at his eye. And let's check his mouth position. So here's the crease of his mouth. And you can see that his mouth is a little bit off. So that is unfortunate uh, that it has to do that. But uh, unless you were to go back and line it up yourself in something like Photoshop, uh, it will be really hard to get a reference image that is perfectly lined up. So this will do for now. It'll be close enough. OK, so. OK, so let's let's start modeling. So we just delete this cube. Um, actually, on our front image in the left panel, we're going to move it over just a little bit so that our z-axis line right here is roughly in the middle of his face. This should be good for now. Okay. 
Okay, so let me just draw in with the grease, uh, the grease pencil some of the key lines that I want us to focus on in the modeling in this modeling series. So I'll just show you. Turn up the thickness. Okay. So on the right side, on the right side, we'll want a line that goes just about here. That goes from his nose around his mouth to the chin. Uh, we'll also want one that goes from below his chin all the way up and around his face. We will want, looking in the front now, a good loop around his eyes. We'll want one possibly around his nose and maybe even, yes, definitely. We'll want one around his neck and also possibly if we want, we can have one following that neck muscle right there, um, following up his head. We'll also make some in the back and this one will go all the way to the top. So you can see, if I were to just draw in those lines that I drew in the front, that once we make these Im these lines, these reference lines, all it really is is a matter of filling in the holes and then reshaping it to uh, fit your model. Obviously, I didn't talk about the ear. The ear is very complex. I'll see if I can get in a tutorial in this series on modeling the ear, but personally, I'm not very good at modeling ears either. So you might want to look at something like a Maya tutorial or another Blender tutorial on modeling an ear as they are more complex and they are very difficult, in my opinion, to connect smoothly into the geometry. So, but with the mirror, it'd be the same idea. You have some loops here, maybe a loop here, going in there, etc. So, as I was saying before, we just connect these and you'd get something similar to this. As you can see here, that's pretty much what I did. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's just start by adding in our first loop right around here. Let me just add a new layer on this. Uh, new layer. Okay. And I want to do this one. Good. Okay. Okay, so Shift A, add mesh circle. We want a circle and we want the vertices to be ab about eight. We can edit that later, but it's going to be eight for now. Now let's go in and uh, press R to rotate it on the y-axis. So R, Y, uh, we're going to rotate it, I don't know, 90 degrees. Tab into edit mode. Make sure we're in front view. Okay, so right now in our front view, we're in side, but we want to be in front. So go to view, front, or you could press one on your, on your numpad. So let's rotate it, R, Z. 90 to make it face the front and grab it on this right side and grab it like that. Okay, so now let's press A to deselect everything. B to box select these right three vertices. Delete vertices and add in a mirror modifier. And you can uncheck clipping. Now, right now it looks like because we rotated things in edit mode, it is giving us some weird results. So why don't we, oops, don't do that. Let's see how we're gonna do this. We could mirror it on the Z axis. It looks like it's doing that. Okay, so we're gonna have to change it to the Z axis if you followed what I was doing. However, if you were to, that's weird. If you were to have rotated this normally on object mode, it would be fine. Okay, so let's just start now with our uh, shaping. So the thing, the hard thing about face modeling is that you're doing it in 3D. You can't just align it on one plane. You have to also align it on the other. So we have to move it to fit the front side. Yet at the same time, we should take care that our side 
So after you move a few vertices in the front, you should move the side, and so on. So move that to this chin. We can add some more vertices here. So select these two, W, subdivide, and move it like that. That'll be good. Select these two, W, subdivide. And each time you add a new vertice, always move the loop on each side to fit your reference. Here, we're going to W, subdivide that and move it to make the bridge of his nose. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Okay, and let's keep shaping it here. Bring, bring it back. Now let's select everything with A and extrude. Press E to extrude and S to scale. And let's just bring everything back on the y-axis so that it lines up like that. You can also move it on the X if you want. And let's just reshape this so that now we have just one mesh loop around his face. Okay, good. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of his nose. So why don't we tab in edit mode and do some more of that. Before we do this, I'm not liking how that's looking. Gotta make it a little smaller so that we can fit in more of these loops. Okay, so why don't we put our 3D cursor near where the nose would, the middle of the nose would be. Shift A, add a circle. Again, make sure the vertices are eight and rotate it and delete the vertices and add a mirror modifier. And this time, since we didn't rotate it in edit mode, it is working as it should, as I should have done in the original, uh, originally. Okay, so now we're just gonna shape these vertices to go around the nose in a simple pattern. So it's just like that and you're thinking, okay, how are we gonna go and make this nose now? But, if you just move that like that. The cool thing about this is if you press F, not F, I'm sorry, not F. Select these four vertices, no. W subdivide, okay. And W subdivide these two. So we need, we need a group of four vertices up here and down, or two vertices up here, two vertices down here. Select the four, press F to make a face, and then Control R will make a ring, and then when you bring it out, you have the basic structure of a nose. And the cool thing is that what that method allows us to do is easily create the nostril. So again, we can uh, made a make a loop here, control R, make a loop, select these four vertices, F to make a face, and control R, and that's good. And we're gonna merge, no, con control R, we're gonna make another loop right here. So we're kind of making the area around the nostril. We'll see how this comes together in a minute. Make the area around the nostril. And why don't we select these four vertices and make them a face. Position them around the nostril. You can see in the front, it looks like it, but not on the side. So we're also gonna have to, okay, have to replace these vertices and move that like that. Um, we can add more geometry to that later. Control R one more time, add in a loop. And this has to be, it's this face that's gonna be the nostril. So we have to make that correctly. Oh, okay, the, the problems we're having is because our uh, images are not perfectly lined up. So just get it in a place where you think it would be Correct. It 
should never rely too much on your reference images. You should always look at what you're doing, look at the shapes that you're making, and not try to just fit it to the outline of the reference image. Okay, so now you can take those four vertices, select the four, press E to extrude, scale it down, and extrude up, and you have the hole of the nostril. And now, why don't we subdivide these guys? W subdivide, make those a face, and make that face. So now we have the basic shape of the nose, which we could obviously go back and reshape later when we want to uh, make this look a little better. Okay. Now that's it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll go over how to make the mouth and then later the eyes. So thank you for watching.